Hey, what's up guys? This is Jordan from Redemption, and today we're going to cover episode two of the Deck Builder series. Um, we're going to go over why decks warp today. So, um, if you've ever made decks and you've came across one that you made that was warped, you've probably been pretty disappointed <clears throat> because it just doesn't look right, it has performance issues, and it just doesn't ride the surfaces of the ramps right because the wheels aren't all touching. You need four wheels to ride properly. <laughs> um, and there's some reasons why decks um, have a warp or a twist. And today's uh, episode, I want to show you how to avoid those, those things. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the glue. What causes decks to warp is when the glue is not cured all the way. So if you're using uh, a PVA glue, um, a wood glue, um, yellow glue, you need to let that deck dry for probably at least 24 hours or it's not gonna um, it's not gonna be dried in the center. It might look dry from the outside but the inside of the deck is still uh, wet and it needs to dry before that um, before it's nice and solid. So um, that can cause a lot of the issues. Glue's the, a big factor in why decks don't dry correctly. And um, so you might want to try, if you don't have 24 hours to spend, you might want to try a polyurethane glue, which you can press the deck anywhere from eight to 24 hours and it should come out good. Um, I think the recommended time is 24 hours. So if you're if you're pushing it, doing the eight-hour thing, um, eight or 16 or 12 hours, whatever you're doing, um, let those decks sit and dry, cure all the way out of the mold after the time, and um, just make sure you watch them so they aren't. If you end up with a warp deck, just throw it away. It's not worth your uh, the hassle. Um, I hate warp decks. I don't ride them and I won't send them out to customers either because they're, they're garbage. You, I, I don't like them. <laughs> I really am a big fan of quality and I like to keep stuff, um, the best quality I can. So, um, so yeah, glue, you just got to make sure that the glue's cured. You got to have the time for the PVA glue to dry or the epoxy, slow setting epoxy or your polyurethane glue. I mean, just take the time, make sure it's all the way dry, and you'll be good. Um, the second thing is wood that twists. Um, this can be, can be because um, the wood naturally has a twist in it. Like, um, for example, a lot of burl and exotic woods. Um, the wood just wants to do its own thing. It wants to go the way it wants to go. It's not meant to be flat necessarily. So um, it's going to go back to the shape that it wants to. And putting five layers together like that, that each want to go their own way, you might have some problems with that. So what I recommend most of the time is using mostly maple decks. I mean, some of the exotics can look cool for the inner plies, but you can run into a lot of problems besides the wood being softer. Um, so that's that's the second reason. And you just gotta watch it. If your deck comes out warp, just toss it. Like I said before, uh, it's not worth your time. Um, the third thing is if you have a bad mold. Um, if you're using Bondo molds or handmade wooden molds, um, your clamps can actually change the way the mold's shaped or because of the pressure um, put on the mold. And the other reason is um, if you're making your molds by hand, um, the rails might not line up, so you might have a twisted mold, which will always produce twisted decks. So. Um, better option is a CNC mold. They're expensive, but well worth it. You'll be pleased. The shape was great. The, um, the dips will all be consistent. Rails, um, metal molds are awesome. So, 
And uh, the fourth reason why decks warp is would be because the wood isn't dry. Either it's got too it's been in a place with too high of humidity or um, after you dye the wood, it needs a certain amount of time to actually dry out back to its um, natural state before dying. And um, if it's not dried all the way and then you're putting more glue and water into it, it's just not a bad, not a good combination. It's uh, it, So make sure the wood is all the way dry. Um, if you're making decks, lay them out in the sun. Uh, lay the lay the plies out so they can get that sunlight. And there's also a, another few ways to dry deck, uh, dry the veneers, but we won't be going into that this time. That's for you to find out, you to learn on your own. But uh, um, so I just wanted to go over these four reasons why your decks might be warped or decks you buy they might be warped um you just gotta watch out for the quality of companies you buy for and um the quality that you yourself if you're making and sending out warp decks nobody wants that so <laughs> you just gotta be careful and that wraps up episode two and warping why decks warp Thanks for watching, guys. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and uh, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Hey, if you got any questions or comments or other things you want to see from this series, um, be sure to leave them below. I'm covering some of the processes that I use for deck making from my perspective. Not necessarily how to build um, a fingerboard from complete scratch or whatever. But I'm just going over some of the insight and knowledge that I have from making them. Some of my experience. Um, and so I can give to you guys so you know, so you have some knowledge when you guys are either making decks or um, buying from um, your favorite companies. Letting you know why certain things happen and uh, how things go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.